Namaste. So I am Love Coach Scott Katamas, and I want to share with you the meaning of life. Yes, it's your lucky day. What people search for all over the world throughout their lives to try and understand the meaning of life. And I'm actually very sincerely going to share with you what the meaning of life is. And I mean this truly. Um, I had the good fortune to make my living for many years as a segment producer in Los Angeles. And I produced over a hundred nationally broadcast news magazine segments on mostly mystical topics, crop circles, UFOs, and near-death experiences. And as a result, I had a chance to interview um, a lot of the leading experts and authorities on near-death experiences, and um, also people who had had those experiences. And at the time, probably the world's foremost authority was a man named Dr. Kenneth Ring. Uh, he was a clinical psychologist out of the University of Connecticut. He was very well funded, and he had spent 10 years traveling all over the world interviewing people who had had legitimate near-death experiences. Now, he would only accept uh, an interview with somebody for his research and his comparative analysis if they had been declared dead by a doctor or a police officer. They had to have been dead for at least 20 minutes. They had to have some partial memory of what happened while they were out there and they had to be willing to be hypnotized uh, where they would then probe the subconscious uh, to see what the subconscious remembered about the experience. And when I first interviewed him, he had already done 300 cases uh, of people, black, brown, yellow, white, Christians, Jews, atheists, all imaginable cultures, backgrounds, belief systems, looking for commonality. What's the doing research? But well, he discovered an amazing thing. Now, first off, I should say that people's near-death experiences really varied. Uh, some people just saw a bright light. Some people saw dead ancestors. Some people saw religious figures, usually based on their belief systems. So there's a wide variety of experiences. But where there was one commonality, an incredible commonality, was that every single person, regardless of their age, their race, their culture, their belief system, if they had an experience while they were out there of being shown the meaning of their life, or in some cases remembering the meaning of their life, it was always a variation on the same theme. The meaning of life is to learn to love, starting with ourself. Now, each person had their unique challenge. I'm here to learn to love myself even though I'm an alcoholic or even though I lost my legs in the accident or even though my wife left me or whatever it might be. So I ask you, if the meaning of life is to learn to love yourself more fully, what would that look like? How could you love yourself more fully? What are your unique challenges, your unique difficulties to self-love or experiencing love the way that you want. Now, I just first heard this like 20 years ago, and so I've had the opportunity to work with thousands of people as a coach. And so I get pretty close to people pretty quickly, and I get to see what their patterns are and what their issues are and what their blocks to learning to love themselves fully might be. And it's amazing. I, I'm absolutely convinced this is the meaning of life. And since that time, I've had my own uh, near-death experiences and worked with people who are, are dying, dealing with death. So um, it's a powerful, powerful question. It's a powerful awareness. And again, I invite you to reflect on how can you love yourself more fully? What are your blocks? And how can we practice that? Um, thank you for watching, and I always enjoy hearing comments. So um, look forward to connecting and seeing how this works for you.